Good morning, everybody. It is now for another edition of the Boss X Series. This time, D Style. <coughs> oh man, man, I got um, I got some cereal stuck in my mouth. If you guys don't know, D Style is part, or I should say, was part of the DDR Supernova 2 internet raking. The second to last internet raking, which started in Japan time on February 7, 2008, and ended on February 28, 2008. During this period, players had a chance to grind it up on songs like this and rank up on the official konami.jp website. <clears throat> I'm not sure there was any prize or anything for the top people other than, hey, this is where you rank among these courses. And this run, this was like my best run. But at, but like the worst time, I don't know if that makes sense. Like I ended up beating my record, but as you can see, this this whole course, all five songs, which are by Desro, or had Desro in common. <clears throat> all five of these songs are on standard. And if you see me play this, I'm just dropping soaps all over the place. <clears throat> and the main reason why I'm dropping soaps all over the place is because I underestimated this course. This course is not hard or difficult in any kind of way. It's just, it's so, eh. It's not like, a, like, hmm. How can I say this? I think I'm sitting here saying that this course is not tough yet. I'm sitting here getting almost getting good. You know, <clears throat> overall, I will say that while the songs are bumping on this course, the charts on this is just horrendous. <clears throat> No flow whatsoever, a lot of awkwardness. That's a good way to describe this whole entire course. Awkward. Good songs, but awkward in terms of stepwise. I'm not too sure about singles, but doubles. I mean, you see them like the hot mess it is. If you never play any of these songs, on standard difficult, or I should say single difficult player, single to double difficult player, DDP. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, but if, you know, um, but if you haven't played them, you should check them out. I'd say the only song that has some flow is this one. And even then, what makes this chart so hard is the BPM change in the middle of the song. It's so hard to get the timing of it. And this song, at least I believe on here, doing that part where the BPM kind of change, got, it goes lower and then back to the regular BPM, it's like, it's, that's, I think that's where, I mean, it's not where the term, the BPM drips came from, but it was, a good example of a BPM that's kind of just drifting and you're not for sure where the timing is on it. And this is just standard. You would think I would have a higher score on this, but no, this course is, um, 
is uh, is very, very, very. Um, it's something. I want to say it's that go-to course that I would recommend anyone. I mean, because they use all standard on this, it's more or less like a throwback to Naoki Sander. I shouldn't say not even Na Naoki Sander. Okay, sort of like Naoki Sander. More close to, you know, the 130 or, um, what was it, below 130 from Max 2? I'm sitting here, sitting here like talking and don't know my info because I'm still like waking up, just waking up, waking up this morning. This is probably the other song that had a nice good flow and a nice good chart. The first two was pretty rough, but this one, this one was pretty nice. I wish they gave this the Demon Road treatment where it will be, or at least Pop 8, where they put in the other song by Des Row that's on here. It would have been nice to see Dyke and Kai on this course. But, I mean, we got what we have, and that's okay. Yeah, but me doing this, like right here, doing this, I'm chilling. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? The last, the first two songs, horrible. Horrible. And I think I tried doing this course right after I did this video. Did another recording to do, like, just, just do better. And that was not the case. In fact, um, I think I did worse. No, I believe I did work. It was nowhere near the current score that I got on this run. All right, the final stage. Man, this song. Everyone hates this song. I find this the most hype song. One of the most, one of the hype songs by these guys. And not in terms of rock. This is more like like a grunge type of, you know what, pass me some alcohol. A, you know, a good way to describe it, a bro song, okay? I don't even like using bro, and this is probably the best way to, to describe this song. A bro song, one that you sing with your buddies in a bar, chugging alcohol, saying bad lines, ladies or dudes, and it's having a good old time not giving a fuck. Also, you wanna know why a lot of people hate this chart? All right, here it comes, here it comes. This fucking BPM bullshit. I mean, this gimmick, here we go. Uh, 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 all right, here we go. Here, that was one of these, this is here's our one. That never made no goddamn sense. It took me over 10 years to learn how to do that stop. And the best way to do that stop is just go seven. it. Go seven it fast or at that part, just hop. All right. We about to get to the conclusion of this song. All right, here we go. Boom. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, do my little electric slide right there. All right, that's it, folks. It's B-O-S-S. Capital S-A-L-A-D-T-S-R. And I am out. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a new 